hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how we can add or create a lookup field in a salesforce screen flow since salesforce flows allow us to connect and manage data for different standard and custom object with the automation and within this automation we can add the lookup field that allow us to establish relationships between the records that simplifies the workflow and make the data management process more efficient so in this example i am going to create a contact record with the help of salesforce screen flow and within that screen flow i am going to add the account field that is going to be our lookup field so in this example we will create a contact from the home page through the screen flow and link it with the account and the lookup field in the screen flow will display the and before starting the flow first i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce admin course and i will also mention the course link in the description from where you can access the course so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early birds so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this course you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and from here we will navigate to the flows window for that go to this quick find box and here search and select flows and under the heading process automation click on flows and in the next window click on the button new flow so here we are going to create a screen flow so select the option screen flow and click on the create button and in the screen flow click on this plus icon and then select the screen element now we will configure the screen element First of all we will enter the label and the api name so this so this screen will take input for creating the contact record so i have entered the label as contact details and the api name will be autofilled as we click on it and after this we will add a text component to the screen region so here we have to enter the label and the api name for the text component also so for the contact name i have entered the label as a first name and for the second name also i will add a text component and then label is as a second name and from here and from this require checkbox we can make this field required and now to display the accounts we will add a lookup field to the screen so for the lookup field we will enter the api name as contact accounts and the field api name will be account id and the object api name will be the contact and after entering the api name field api name label and the object api name uh, click on the done button and if you are not sure about the api name then you have to just navigate to the object manager and here you can see the from the list of object you can see this is the object name and this is the api name of the object and in the contact record and in the fields and relationships you can see the account name is referred as account id so in our flow we have taken the field api name as account id so now we have to add a create record element to the flow that will fetch the details from the screen and it will create records so here i am adding the create record element to the flow and here we have to enter the label and the api name and in the section how to set the record field select the option use separate resource and lateral values and in the object select the contact object so now we have to map the fields of contact object with the values that we have defined in the screen flow so here i will map account id with the lookup field contact accounts record id and first name with the first name text field and last name with the last name text field so here last name is not appearing that might be some mistake in the screen element so let me check that so here i have entered the second name instead of last name so i will correct it and here click on the done button to apply the changes and again i will go to this create record element and here we will map the last name here it is 
so as of now our flow is completed now we will click on the save button and here enter the flow label and the flow api name and then click on the save button and before activating the flow we will test and debug it for that click on the debug button in the flow builder and in the debug window click on the run button and here we have to enter the first name and as we click on the account name it will show us all the accounts so here we can see that account names are visible in a lookup field so from here you can select any account and click on the next button so as we click on the next button we can see that record is successfully created and let me show you the created record in the developer console also that is in the contacts tab so first we will navigate to the contacts tab from the app launcher and here you can see this is the contact that we have created and this is the contact account that we have selected from the lookup field that we have added in the screen flow so this is how we can create and use the lookup field in a salesforce screen flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye